Welcome to General Structures 2 and Lateral Forces Lesson 3 Quiz, question number 5. And it asks, which of the following is a type of lightweight prefabricated truss that is in widespread use? Alright, and I guess the key words here would be prefabricated, prefabbed, and truss, which they're all going to be trusses, I'm guessing, and widespread use. All right, so let's go and take a look at it. The answers, we have A, B, C, and D. And first it says bowstring truss, which if you remember a bowstring, this top cord can be curved, or it doesn't have to be curved, but a bowstring truss will generally look something like, like this, that top can be curved or it could be segmented where that's straight that's a segment that's a segment and it doesn't have to be this size but you get the general idea is it curves up it looks like a bowstring and um, that top cord once again could be curved or it could be segmented and um, yeah sure that that's that would probably be an okay answer there may be a better one out there which I'm gonna say it's okay because it is prefabricated is it in widespread use I would say not as much as like a typical rafter truss, which looks like answer C. So I would say this would be a better answer, and we'll go over the rest of the rest of the answers. But if you, I would go take a look back, and you can see these typical rafter trusses. Looks like on page 71 they have a, a picture of it. And these are used quite often, in, and they're prefabricated in certain type of buildings. They can look anything like this. Typical. Obviously it doesn't need to look exactly like that, but it's you know, you get a a wall here, wall here, you go in there, you put these things on five foot centers or whatever they call for, and you're done. And this the the, the big difference between the bowstring and this typical truss drafter is that this goes well with with your uh, your roof. Now if you have a certain roof type that you want that type of bowstring, you know, segmented action or even curved, then you're yeah, but your bowstring would work fine. But that's not as I guess the the main word here was was what? widespread use. I would say this is much more widespread than the bowstring. So what you'll end up doing is I'll come in here They'll put, build your walls up, you'll slap these down, and then they'll put a purlin or whatever you want to call it. Right, so there, and then they'll put your your sheathing on top, or however you want to go about doing that. I guess you could put, you don't have to do this. I was just trying to show that you can, how you, how you can load it on these these panel points, which, once again, you don't have to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and go over what B and C were. I'm gonna erase this stuff. So your answer is C, the those typical truss rafters. And let's look at B, a how truss, H-O-W-E. And those are typically used for more, I would call, bridge structures. And that doesn't have to be perfectly true but you'll see these quite often where whoops I did mess up and, and it's difficult to remember all these things if you don't mess with them every day but the how trusses I missed my color here they go like this from one side and they do the same from the other side from the other side and oh, that looks good like that. So you have that's typical how truss, H O W E. And there's like a Pratt truss. There's a bunch of other there's scissor trusses that look oh gosh, I shouldn't do this. I'm going from memory, but it looks and, and they can be different kinds, but scissor trusses will look something like that. And that's if you have to have a little extra space up here for headroom in your building or whatever. And that's what the scissor trusses are for probably more expensive to fabricate than your typical trust rafter. Alright, so that's your how. And that is not going to be 
used a lot in your uh, building. So th th you won't see this as much. Now you could make a, a another case for this Warren Trust, which a Warren Trust looks like this. And this is probably what you think about when you think trust. And you can have these more more of an optional type of you you can have these, but a Warren Trust does not have to have these verticals. I don't believe so at least. It may be called something else, but anyways, that's what I remember Warren Trusts look like. And this is all right over here, Warren. There you go. And you, once again, you could make, I, I said earlier, that you could make an argument that these Warren trusses, you could call, you know, you'll go into a, a big box store and you'll see these prefabricated trusses. And that's why I never liked these. You go into a Sam's Club or a Walmart or anything that has the open ceilings and you'll see this Warren, it looks like a Warren truss. Now, I probably wouldn't call it a Warren truss. I would more call it a steel trust joist, I guess. I, a steel joist. And it, it looks like an upside down Warren. So could you make an argument saying, well, that's, that's a Warren truss. It's just upside down. Or it's still a Warren truss, even though it doesn't look exactly like your typical bridge truss that you might always think of historically being a Warren truss and a Howe truss. So... Could you say, oh, well, I see all these all over the place. They're prefabricated. Sure, you could make an argument for that. Um, I'm not going to because I don't wish to right now. And we're just going to say the answer is C and go with it. But I, you, can, you can see how some of these, these questions are very tricky, and it's a matter of opinion to, as to what you think is the best answer. So do what you can. Um, figure out that... Hey, these these um, these trust rafters, which once again look more like this. These go in small type construction, so they're probably more highly used than the these joists that go in. But that's up to speculation. Anyways, I'm gonna stop right there before I talk you out of our answer. So we're going to see. All right, I will see you on the next question.